I would just like to review a little bit on a topic we've talked about already and uh, <clears throat> the subject is pilgrimage art or tourist art. Now it also relates to fake art and it also relates to uh, really current tourist art in the last uh, really 60-70 years. Um, now we've always had pilgrimage art. We've had it for over a thousand years and we can we can see it when we look at um, the stone, small stone carvings of Bodh Gaya and the um, Shakyamuni Buddha and the uh, life story in, in um, eight, nine, ten scenes on a small carved stone. So, so that truly is pilgrimage art. But then we also have uh, from the Tibetan and Mongolian side we have paintings of sacred mountains. The most probably the most uh, popular um, early on, and early on is not that early, we're really looking at uh, 18th century, would be uh, Wu Tai Shan Mountain, the uh, Wu Tai Mountain, the Mount, sacred mountain of Manjushri. But then we could have also uh, uh, Ume Shan uh, for Samantabhadra, then the mountain for uh, in Anwe for uh, Kshiti Garba, and then uh, Puto Island just south of Shanghai, just north of Hangzhou for Avalokiteshvara. We also have sacred mountains in Tibet that can be uh, painted. So, so this this is this is really pilgrimage art. Um, but then we have temple shop art. Temple shop art is where you go to a a temple in um, in Lhasa or 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 Shigatse or Dege or in, in China, in any number of, of temples in China or Mongolia. And they'll have little little shops associated with the temple. And often temples and monasteries have their own little gift shops. Okay, so that, that's pilgrimage art as well. Um, you, you might buy a mala, prayer beads, or you might buy a small painting or a small image, and then it reminds you of, of um, that you visited that site, and that's a keepsake. And maybe you keep it on your shrine, and maybe you in um, in the West, you would uh, attach a, a plastic uh, um, a goddess to your uh, dashboard of your car. Um, so we we do have a history of having pilgrimage art, and uh, uh, both um, which represents a certain location, but also represents that that you actually visited some place, even if. Uh, the, the temple or monastery is not that significant um, uh, geographically, but but having gone there, like like Yonghegong Monastery in Beijing, or or um, uh, Drotsang Dorjichong um, uh, south of, of Xining, I mean, then these are, are famous places with, with a lot of history, and it just represents that you've you've been there. Um, now we also have. We really don't find a lot of tourist art that's too far away from a religious center. Um, even in Lhasa, the, 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 all the art shops are primarily around the Barkor area. Uh, there, there, there can be others, but historically, the Barkor uh, was uh, primarily the Lhasa town, the Lhasa village. We can't really ever say it was a, a big city. So, but in the last... 30, 40, 50 years, we have a tremendous amount of art that's being produced for for these uh, um, ever-expanding gift shops. Um, and uh, the art is not always correct. We also have um, minorities groups uh, outside of uh, Kathmandu Valley um, where they produce uh, art for the, the tourist art market in Kathmandu. And these paintings are not always accurate. So we, we have to look at um, that there's a lot of different qualities of art for, for this pilgrimage art. We, we can't be thinking that it's, it's just all bad, because it's certainly not. Uh, but it depends on, on how much you want to spend and, you, and whether or not you know and can recognize quality. Uh, but there's also a tremendous amount of fake art that's being produced, and the fake art is also being sold in these uh, tourist uh, shops and pilgrimage shops that, that may belong to to a monastery or temple. So there's a tremendous amount of fake art that's coming out, and uh, some of the fake art is, is, is just new, 
and you know it's kind of new, but it's not iconographically correct. It doesn't represent anything. It is just simply some kind of figurative art or some kind of mandala that, that is uh, purely the creation of the artist and doesn't represent any textual, um, traditional um, uh, religious practice um, or ritual uh, tradition at all. And, and that is very, very common in the Kathmandu Valley to find these. Um, but we also have um, just mistaken art where, where, where people just don't know. The artists are just copying and copying and copying and don't know what they're really doing. So um, this is just a, a, just a reminder that you always have to be aware that, yes, we do have this history of, of good quality and poor quality uh, pilgrimage and temple shop art. But then we have, we have honest-to-goodness fakes. Um, uh, and we have to be aware of those as well. Um, so we'll leave it there. You can press the like button, you can subscribe, um, you can join Har on Patreon, and you can also make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.